Hey guys, quick video here um, to help you with your math 12.8. We're working on equivalent money. And if you remember what the word equivalent means, it means equal. So when you're counting up money, um, sometimes you can come up with equal amounts using different coins. Let me tell you or show you more what I'm talking about. So we can remember that a nickel is five cents, but we can also give five cents by using five pennies, okay? Easy enough, right? So one nickel is equal or equivalent to five pennies. Let's do another. A dime. So I've got three different ways I can represent 10 cents. Hopefully you can think of some yourself. First, two nickels, right? Five, 10. There's 10 cents. 10 pennies. That's an easy one, right? And this last one is a combination of the two. And I know my face is in the way, but it's a nickel and five pennies. Okay, you got five pennies, five with a nickel, 10 cents. All right. Here's another, a quarter. Now, the obvious one would be 25 pennies. Okay, you could use pennies for any kind of equivalent and count out how many cents you need. But let's use some of our other co uh, coins. Let's start with the most common. 25 you can make by using two tens, two dimes, and a nickel. So 10, 20, plus five, 25, all right? The next combination is all nickels, okay? Five, 10, 15, 20, 25. All right, so five nickels gives you 25 cents. The last is a combination of a bunch. And again, I know my, my face is in the way, but I'll tell you what's under it. You've got 10 cents, one dime. Then you've got 10 cents in nickels, five, 10. So that's 10 and 10, a total of 20. And behind my head, unfortunately, is five pennies. Then you would get your 25, okay? So today's lesson is basically um, showing you that these coins can create equivalent amounts. Count them up carefully. I would definitely write their totals right next to the groupings of coins. So it's really easy for you to match up the equivalent amounts. Good luck and let me know if you have any questions on Zoom.